This video is recorded to help my students to understand strong mathematical induction. The principle of strong mathematical induction says that Sn be a statement parameterized by n, a positive integer, that a less than or equal to b be positive integers. Then Sn is true for all n greater than or equal to a if the following two conditions hold. First condition is the base cases. That means says SA, SA plus 1, up to SB are all true. Then second is inductive step. It says for all k greater than b, greater than or equal to b, if SA and SA plus 1 up to SK uh, are all true. So you notice he used and, that means SA is true and SA plus 1 is true and up to SK is true. Okay? Then SK plus 1 is also true. Now notice he doesn't say SA up to SK must be true. He just say if they're true, then we can conclude SK plus 1 is also true. Now students first need to understand the uh, principle of mathematical induction is just a special case of principle of strong mathematical induction. So uh, look at the principle of mathematical induction. Basically, if you compare it with the strong mathematical induction principle, you will say uh, in the base case, we only have S1 is true. So equivalent say in the base case, A equal 1, B equal 1, you only have one term. Okay, then in the inductive uh, step, also B is 1 and K is just uh, A. So equivalent say your B is 1, because you need a k greater than equal to b, right? So in base step, or say b is one, okay? And uh, here you don't have s a up to s k. Your s k is just s a, so you only have one term here. It's true. Then you improve. Uh, then you uh, conclude that s k plus one is also true under that condition. So you can see the principle of mathematical induction is just a special case of principle of strong mathematical induction. Now let's say one of the application example proof that any amount of postage worth 24 cents or more can be made from 7 cent or 5 cent stamps. So now we first need to figure out how many base cases we need to have. If you think about it, if you add 1 cent, okay, so you, if you add 1 cent, if you can uh, from that postage, uh, you add one cent more, you can get it from the sum of the old compilation, but add a five cent stamp, then you can get a new one. So in that case, the older one need to be five cents less than the new one. So in that case, you might want to be able to go back four cents up to the one you assume is correct. So in that case, we might need uh, five base cases. So 24 cents postage, you can have two five cents and two seven cent stamps. 25 is just five cent stamps. 26 is one five cent stamps and three seven cent stamps. 24 cents postage is four five cent stamps and one uh, seven cent stamps and 28 cents postage is four seven cents postage now for any n is greater than or equal to or for any k is greater than or equal to 28 if your statement is true from 24 up to k then for k plus one what you can do you can go back uh four cents right for 28 you go back four cents okay so we, we, which will be 24 cents, which is still in your range. So that's the idea. So in this case, the inductive space, uh, inductive steps, we say, assume that for k greater than or equal to 28, it is possible to make a j cents worth of the postage using any seven cents and five cents stamps for any j in the range from 24 through k. Assume under this assumption, we want to show that it is possible to make a k plus one cents worth of postage use any seven cent and five cent stamps. 
Now, this is doable is because since k is greater than equal to 28, then k minus 4 is greater than equal to 24. Since k, therefore, k minus 4 fall into the range from 24 through the k. And by the inductive hypothesis assumption, it is possible to make k minus 4 cents worth of stamps use only 7 cent and 5 cent stamps. By adding one 5 cent stamp, then the amount of postage become k minus 4 plus 5, which is k plus 1. Therefore, it is possible to make a k plus 1 cents worth of the postage using any 7 cents and 5 cents stamp. So you look, here, in order to make a k plus 1, okay, I try to make a k minus 4 first. But uh, and in the hypothesis where I say k minus 4 is okay, the reason is because your k greater than or equal to 28, so k minus 4 is greater than or equal to 24. That means k minus 4 is 4 into the range from 24 through k. And you assume, uh, you know, that it is true from 24 through k. That's your assumption for your inductive spe uh, step. So in this case, since you k minus four, you can be uh, get uh, can be obtained by only seven cents and five cents stamps. So you plus five, which you add one more five cents stamp, then you get k plus one cents postage. Okay, that's the proof. So if you have any questions, please give me an email.